Welcome to Home TV. I'm Tracy Prees and here's today's news from home. Municipal elections are over for another term. Congratulations to our newly elected mayors and councillors in the Northwest region. Mayors for the next four years are as follows. In Kenora, we have Andrew Poirier, Dryden, Jack Harrison, Atacokan, Rob Ferguson. In Fort Francis, Andrew Halicus, Fred Moda in Red Lake. Ignace has Bill Gascon, Sue Lookout, Doug Lawrence, and Thunder Bay, Ken Boschkoff. Other municipalities are listed here. Please visit your community's town hall website for more details on voter turnout and ballot numbers for each candidate. Sabascong First Nation Chief Jeff Kopenace will be the guest speaker in Kenora on Sunday from 4 to 7 p.m. at the Super 8 Minnis Hall. The presentation is in regards to the nuclear waste disposal site proposed for the Treaty 3 area by the Nuclear Waste Management Organization. All are welcome. We might be seeing more aerial drones in the skies. Police services in the region are training and some are already using drones to enforce traffic laws in the east of the province. Although the drones may not be used to watch the interior of a residence without a warrant, some drones will have thermal cameras and be able to fly in unfavorable conditions to help police locate suspects and missing persons in difficult terrain. A report from the Northern Policy Institute has been released recommending new technological ways to make traveling on highways safer. The innovative road construction techniques suggested would make it easier and more cost effective to build and maintain roads in the northwest region. One recommendation is called FAST or Fixed Automated Spray Technology that automatically sprays anti-icing liquids on the roads when sensors detect conditions that would likely form ice or bonded snow on the surface. This FAST technology is already in use in eight locations across the province and is best used on bridges and remote locations that are very costly to service manually. Another option is called DSL, or a dynamic speed limit, where the system would send prevailing road conditions to an operator who would then adjust the speed limit so drivers would be forced to slow down. And that's your Home TV News Update for this hour. I'm Tracy Priest. Have a great day.